Hey guys, we're going to be going to the Sephiroth Massamoon battle now for his plus four Massamoon. Let's go to level four, and the missions are no KOs, 12 turns or less, and party of Final Fantasy VII units only. We're not going to do that. Let's go and take a friend, Diosius, and we're going to go with a dark party. Now, Sephiroth does heavily resist darkness. But I've got a dark leader skill, and I don't have Zack for the proper leader skill. So we're going darkness in spite of the boss heavily resisting it. Because the game is all about leader skills these days. If you don't have the most recent premium leader skill, well, you can get wrecked. And I don't have Zack, so I can't do an all-mission clear. But I have Deosius, so we're going to use his leader skill. So let's go ahead and use the Assure field with Dark Fina. Let's shift Sephiroth. <clears throat> and we're going to do him in a minute. Let's have Gilgamesh break and in peril. Let's have Deosius amplify the party and then just double absolute mirror. Other Deosius will do the same thing, so a proper change. Let's wait for this to finish. All right, let's go ahead and chain this up. Let's have Barrett just triple fill uh, LB for the party. Also, fire resist is helpful. Um, so the boss does fire and ice magic, non-elemental fixed attacks, uh, dark fixed attacks, regular physical, etc. Overall, he's not super dangerous in the early part, but the friend is not properly built for this. Um, Jasheru is built for a different trial, but it's close enough. And he's wearing death immunity. You need death immunity as well on the whole party. Okay, anyway, the boss dispelled us. As you probably noticed, the whole party is now dispelled. It's obnoxious. So let's go ahead and use Dark Fina to just buff the party. Let's have Barrett refill again. And we're going to go ahead and shift the Deosius. Thankfully, the Deosius's absorb darkness in their shift form. So even though the friend is not really built for this with the resist gear, he does absorb the darkness. That'll heal him, and that'll keep us good to go. So we're going to use all the LBs here, including Gilgamesh's. Now, the boss is going to dispel himself at the end of the turn, which is, again, super irritating, but uh, whatever. Now, we need to burst and get close to 70 without going past 70%. The boss has a really bad threshold at 70%, and oh, that is not even close. All right. Anyway, there, there's, the, there's the dark attacks that the boss heals. And the boss dispelled himself now. Isn't this fun? We love dispels. All right. Let's go ahead and re-break the boss and all with Gilgamesh. Let's have Fina do her SLB. Let's have Barrett do a cover and then some mitigations with resist again. And now we're going to get ready for bursting for real in a minute. Honestly speaking, no we're not. We're going we're gonna to try to get a little closer without going... Past. I'm like super janky chaining this. Oh, 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 that is, oh, that is so good. That is perfect. That is amazing. That is so close. This hurts so freaking much. My God. All right, all right, all right. Let's have you do, let's do Omni Cover this turn because, oh my God, it hurts. And we'll do some of this. Let's have Sephiroth just do his 150 amp. Let's have the Deosiuses do their stuff. Deosiuses will do their stuff. We're going to guard Gilgamesh. And let's have Fina just heal the party. I gave her healing. And we're going to do a big burst next turn. All right. Hopefully Omnicover worked. Looks like it did. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, now let's go for some serious bursting. We've got 150 amps on the party. Uh, this will be fun. Gilgamesh's big break. We're even going to burst up the Barrett because why not? And we're going to triple. I should have been viewed. Oh my god. Whatever. Let's go and hit it as hard as we can. Now at 70%, the boss is going to do a big stat buff. It's pretty irritating. Alright. Yeah, this big stat buff is um, unremovable and it's excessive. Alright, so how are we going to do this now? Let's...
Let's triple fill. Let's have Fina imbue the party. Let's have Fina big and trust Sephiroth, and we'll just do like some buffs because whatever. All right, let's have Sephiroth LB again. Let's go ahead and absolute mirror you guys. You're back in the base form, unfortunately. Because the Sephiroth with these buffs on, let me tell you, he freaking hurts like a lot. All these fixed attacks and they're painful. Um, this may or may not kill. Oh my god, let's please hope that he doesn't do one of those big fixed attacks this turn. He did, he did, it didn't kill anyone though. Oh, he only did one! He only did one! He does two sometimes. Oh, that's... Oh, we got this, we're done, we're, we're good, we, we win. Awesome. Okay. Uh... Really, friend? Really? Really, friend? All right, so, oh, oh my God. Whatever, you just, you, just, you just do one, that's fine. All right, Sephiroth will absolute mirror up equity because he has that in his chain, his kit now. Um, is this even gonna kill him? Oh my God. We can do this. Got it. Okay, so there was two out of three missions. Um, we did no KOs, barely, uh, in 12 turns or less, and we did not take Final Fantasy VII only. So here's the party that we use. Barrett is mitigation, a lot of fire resist. You know, his fire resist, 200 fire resist is very helpful. It also gives all the mitigations. Um, and he's passive provoking with death immunity, uh, <clears throat> a lot of a lot of MP fill and 200 to dark and ice resist. We get we get the fire resist from his buff. Uh, premium Fina 200 ice and dark resist. We also have uh, with the Lakshmi tome so she can heal a little bit because you know we do need healing sometimes. Uh, other than that, death immunity and she's on Ashura for um, the field. Uh, Sephiroth has 13,700 attack power, uh, maxed human killer, maxed everything, maxed LB. He's got 200 ice and dark resist. There is the build we're using. Base form is using a lot of auto buffing, obsidian bracer, um, a lot of esper fill for the early Assure field. Also Titus STMR in the base form. Uh, Gilgamesh has 200 ice and dark resist. And remember, you, you also you also want 200 fire resist, but we're getting 200 buff from uh, Barrett, so we don't actually need any actual resist. Um, and there we go. Uh, Gilgamesh is a 89 breaker, big dark in peril, as well as a human killer buff. Uh, death immunity, and there we go. His damage is irrelevant. Um, Deoceus in both forms, or... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. In the... In his main, this is mine, in the main DPS form, 200 ice, we don't need any dark, because he absorbs dark in his shift form, so that's awesome. Um, and then death immunity with uh, Kurosame's cloak, there we go, max on everything. And then base form, uh, some mana reduction, because his base form is absolute mana hog. Uh, some mana reduction, death immunity, and the base form has 200 ice and dark, because we need dark resist in the base form as well. The shift is the only absorption one. And here's Jasseru. Um, again, he, he's, he's built for, I think, the Grace of Hellfire trial, or the Grace of Darkness trial, which needs, like, death immunity and all that. But um, it was good enough. Uh, so no resistance. Uh, thankfully, the dangerous turns and the shift where you need dark resist, he was absorbing it, so that was fine. Death immunity, and Deoceus has capped human killer just by default. So there we go. There it was. The two out of three clear for Sephiroth. Um, absolute headache. Uh, if you don't have the Final Fantasy VII, well, Zack. If you don't have Zack's leader skill, I don't think a Final Fantasy VII only team is realistic for all missions. Um, you could do two, do different clears, like maybe like a 12 turn, like I just did, and go back for Final Fantasy VII only. Here's the damage breakdown. Sephiroth, enormous. Um, how in the world? 
How in the world did... Oh, never mind. Never mind, because mine was resistance geared. Yeah, his was not resistance geared, therefore he had more damage. Uh, yeah, never mind. We, we both had maxed killers, because Diosius. Uh, there it is. Anyway, I can now go back and do the Final Fantasy VII only clear, and just do a slow clear. Like, take, you know, 45 turns. And I could do that. It's, honestly speaking, not worth my time for 400 Lapis to just go through that headache. I'll just not do it. Miss 400 Lapis and not care. But anyway, the whole reason we did this, the whole reason we did this was because we are now getting the plus four of Sephiroth's Massamoon. So, no, not that one. This one. Yeah, yeah so I now have three Massamoon. He, they keep growing him. But now we're going, the, my enchanted one is going to plus four. Which now gives Sephiroth 1,000 static attack. So it's actually still worse than the Dark Regions of Katana. <laughs> it's only lower than the Dark Regions of Katana by like 12, 12 attack power now. Um, I guess I can make these duplicates because why not? Uh, but yeah, but the... Um, but Sephiroth's special Katana does have LB damage on it as well. Which means now you're only losing like 75 attack power total but you're gaining 50 LB damage. Also, it means someone else can use the Dark Visions Katana, which is kind of nice. Uh, but anyway, and the dailies actually just reset. So let me go ahead and pop these real quick. We can watch this. Maybe I'll get, you know, a Zack and the daily free pull. Yeah, we've got, uh, and that's it for the video though. So if you're waiting for anything else, the video's done. I'm just gonna do a quick, quick the quick free pulls. And as usual, get nothing at all because the, 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 the free pulls on JP are super rigged, you know. The rates are a lie. You almost never get a red. And when you do get a red, it's an old one. Anyway, we didn't get anything. So that was the... Um, did we? No, we didn't. So that was the 2 out of 3 mission clear on the Sephiroth Massamoon fight. Um, it is time limited. It goes away on December 25th. So if you want that plus 4 katana, you got to do it. Nail. So, okay. See you next time.